I'm Jason. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a double nunchuck trick that is also like a three section stack or a sensetsu kan, whatever you want to call it. So, we're going to get our grip by first grabbing a handle and an opposing handle and lining them up. So, you got one hanging, one hanging, two handles, and now we're going to spread them just a little bit apart because we don't want the ends to be so close that the rope will hit it. So we're going to drop it so that we've got a gap on this end and a gap on this end. Now, what's nice about the dark mud chucks is they've got the carbon fiber right in between the grip and the aluminum, so that's a perfect spot to grab and you know you're good. You don't need to use fire chucks for this. You can use literally any chucks. This is just a good marking spot on the set of chucks that I have. I'll finish that. So, we're going to start off with a strike. So we're gonna take it, palm up, bring the right side over to the right shoulder, and we're gonna strike down. And when we strike down, our left hand is actually gonna turn in so that our hands cross each other, and then back. When you go back, we're gonna push that left hand out. So strike, cross, push. Now, once we're here, I'm going to show you the other side of this so you can see my back. This spot right here, we're going to pretend that that is bolted into the back of our shoulder blade. That's anchored. It's not going anywhere. Don't need to worry about it. The one you need to worry about is going to be right in front of your face. This one, we're going to take it out past my elbow. And now you want to keep a little momentum you don't have to go fast, you don't have to go slow, but what I mean by that is you don't want to let it drop. So bring it out and then go behind the head and over your head back to your left hip or right hip. All right, so once it's here, this one's locked in place. This one's going out and around. Now, we've got this gap in between our arms here we're just lifting that and dropping our head through. And that's the first point. Once we get to this right hip, it's just gonna bounce back to the left. So now that this one's planted, it's just gonna bounce back. This one is now the one that's going to be moving and we're gonna do a full spin in front of us. Once this bounces off of this side, your hand is vertically in line. This one's gonna spin a full circle, and this one's just bouncing from hip to hip. And you're pulling your hand, you're slightly turning it so it's straight up and down, but you're also going straight out in the center of you or to the left. You don't wanna bounce from this hip to that side. It'll screw them up and they'll end up hitting each other. You wanna keep it right in line. Now when the left one comes back, we're going to hit it with our bicep, we're going to bicep bounce and redirect. So we're going to grab the redirect, we're not actually going to redirect. Okay, we're just going to hold that there. Alright, so now that you've got that grip, from here, you're turning 180 degrees. Now you can see, if I stretch this out, I have a solid line going across from one side to the other. Now from here, <laughs> I sound like a horrible teacher, I know, I'm sorry. But we're going to take this top one on our right shoulder, and we're just going to come down and collapse it into our hand. This one is just going to come up, fold in, and you still got your original grip perfect, perfectly in line. So things we can do from here, but that'll just get you out and in. So we're gonna strike, back, flip, and close. And that is that. <laughs>